Hey traders, welcome back to the channel. In today's Forex video, I want to show you an exit indicator that will help you lock more profits. Okay, the indicator, it's a channeler exit. This indicator will help you to write trends and maximize your profit. So this video is about how to use channeler exits to write trends. This is kind of like an indicator that's not so well known. So I thought I'd just take some time today to go through this indicator because it's actually a very powerful indicator if you understand how to use it in the correct manner. So in today's video, this one I will be covering. I want to show you what a channel exit is first. Okay, give you some explanation and help you understand how uh, this indicator is calculated. Now, there are a lot of Forex videos out there that just tell you to do this, do that, but they don't explain to you how it works. And uh, personally, in this channel, uh, we like to show you how things work because if we do not tell you how things work, then it's very hard to convince you to actually use it. But if you understand how it works, then you know you, you are not only convinced that uh, you can use it, but you also can come up with your own variations of how to use it. So this is very important. It's very important that you understand how something works before you use it. Then I want to, of course, go through how uh, or when you should be using it. Okay, there are certain scenarios uh, which you can use uh, this uh, channel exit, not just uh, a, as an exit strategy. Okay, and lastly, I want to just go through the charts and show you how to install it. And I just explain to you using the charts so that uh, you have a very clear understanding of how everything works. Sounds good? Okay, let's go into uh, today's uh, video. So what is a channel exit? Now, it's a very simple indicator. It's actually a volatility-based indicator. So it's kind of similar to like the Bollinger uh, Band. Okay, we have videos about the Bollinger Band. But uh, this one, uh, in the case of a Bollinger Band, it's uh, the higher and lower. You don't have the higher band and the lower band, upper and lower band. But in this uh, channel, acid is just the bottom. So of course, if you are in a bullish trend, uh, it's in the bottom. If you are in a bearish trend, it's at the top. You can see over here that uh, in this case, it's purple purple or pink, pinkish, and in this case, it's uh, kind of like uh, blue, light blue. So uh, if you're in a bullish trend, then uh, the price will be at the bottom, or this chandelier exit will be at the bottom. And uh, if price is bearish, then uh, the chandelier exit will be at the top and it will be in purple. So you can actually use this as a dynamic support and resistance uh, strategy, meaning that uh, it's part of how you identify dynamic support and resistance. Okay, I have a video about uh, what is a dynamic support and resistance uh, versus, you know, the static horizontal level. If you are new to this channel and you do not yet know what I'm talking about, uh, just check that video out. Okay, just uh, go to our YouTube channel and type dynamic support and resistance and you should be able to find it. Okay, by the way, if you're enjoying this content so far, appreciate you could give us a thumbs up. Okay, it doesn't take you more than three seconds. Hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell icon so that you will not miss a video from us. Okay, we also have a free day trading guide. So just feel free to download it. Okay, it's very comprehensive. If you are new to trading, this will help you a lot. Now, this is what a channeler exit is. Now, let's talk about how the channeler exit is calculated. Okay, as I mentioned, my goal is to help you understand uh, how it works. I don't just want to tell you to do it. I want to show you how it works. So, if you go onto trading view and uh, you add in your channel stop indicator, you'll be prompted to put in three inputs. So you can see there's a look back period, there's an ATR period, and the ATR multiplier. Okay, don't worry, it's not confusing. Let me just walk you through it. So as I mentioned over here, there are three variables. Now, this look back period is just a uh, asking you how many days high or day low you want to put in the calculation. So in this case, you can see that uh, I put 22. Means that uh, if you're looking at a chandelier exit long, then uh, it wants to take into account the uh, 22 day high. Okay, end day. So this is end as I mentioned over here. Look back period is end and uh, this is end. Okay, so kind of a bit like algebra, right? N highest high. So uh, for our channel exit long, you have your N day highest high. So in this case, I put my N as 22. So what happens is you take the 22 day high. Okay, so depending on what the price is, uh, you'll make the 22 day high minus uh, this ATR, which uh, shouldn't be N already. Sorry about that. Okay, uh, minus the ATR. So in this case, the ATR is 14. So we'll take the 14 day uh, ATR. Uh, times this multiplier. So depending on the value of the ATR, uh, then uh, you just take the, the number and then you times three. So you take the ATR three times the uh, ATR. 
Okay, so if you look it from it, uh, like from a algebra standpoint, uh, this is actually not the, the number on its own because this one, this one re represents the highest high. Uh, it's actually a number uh, that you get from the charts. This one is also a number that you get from the currency pair. Only this is so-called an absolute number because this is, is kind of like n minus uh, 3, if you call it x, something like this, right? Because this 3 is the absolute uh, number. So if you are new, uh, you can stick to these settings, right? If you need to pause this video, you can just put the 22, 14, and 3. So this is the uh, chandelier exit long. The exit short is the opposite. Because remember, if it's exit short, means you have a bearish position. Okay, you have a bearish position, something like that. And uh, your chandelier uh, stop is going to be higher. Okay, it's like a, it's, you think of it like a moving average. Okay, so this is how you calculate it. It's just the opposite. So if you put 22, it'll be a 22 days a lowest low. Okay, depending on the value of the chart, okay, of currency pair, plus the ATR, depending on the chart again, times 3. So that's how you calculate it. Of course, you do not need to calculate it on your own. Uh, all this will be done by the indicator. So shortly, I'm going to show you how to uh, install this indicator and how to use it. But for now, right, the understanding is that uh, it's a volatility-based indicator that takes into account um, the volatility of the currency pair and add a buffer, okay, a buffer of about 3 times ATR. That's how you use it. Now, please use this uh, chandelier exit on the uh, daily chart only, okay? Uh, because if you watch my other videos about this ATR, uh, I always stress the ATR is a is, is kind of like an indicator that um, you should be using on the daily chart, not the H4 chart, not the H1 chart, because um, you want to look at the daily range. You look, look at a four-hour range, it doesn't really make much sense. You want to look at the daily range, which encompasses all three trading sessions. Because a H1 trading range doesn't mean anything, a H4 trading range doesn't mean anything. But a daily trading range means something. So this is one of the benefits of really understanding uh, the indicator. So in this case, I broke, broke down uh, the indicator, you know, consists of ATR. So if you watch our other videos about ATR, you will know that this indicator has to be used on the daily chart. Okay, so this is the benefit of really understanding it. So when should you use it? Right now it's the practical aspect of it. When should you use it? I want to go through these three scenarios first. I'll draw it out for you. After that, I'll go on to the uh, trading view to show you how to do it. Okay, number one is very obvious, obviously taking profit. So let's say, uh, let's say you bought somewhere here, okay, and you have a chandelier exit long and you know something like that. Let's just assume that this is a chandelier uh, thing and price goes up, okay, and your, your, your buy position is here, you're in profit, but uh, you need to know when to exit because uh, while you want um, to to capture as much of the profit as possible, uh, you do not want to give back uh, the profits. So it's important that you trail your stop loss and you manage your position. So how do you use it? When price comes back down and breaks below the chandelier stop, then you exit. Okay, this is very straightforward. Later, I'll go into the charts to show you. Very straightforward. This is number one, meaning that uh, you use it the way that uh, it's meant to be used. You use it as a chandelier exit. It's meant to help you exit. Okay, at the start of this video, I, I said that this will help you uh, exit your position. Okay, that's why it's called a chandelier exit. The next one, which is kind of a variation, it's the way that I, I think is a unique way of uh, trading, uh, which I don't see a lot of people talk about, is how do you enter a trade. Okay, so let's say we are back at this example over here, or let me just draw a new one. Okay, let's say, um, let's say you wanted to buy somewhere here, but a price didn't come to it. You place a limit order here, the price doesn't trigger it, and you want to get into a trade but uh, there's no trade set up. So what can you do? Okay, let's assume that there is this chandelier you know, uh, thing over here like that. Okay, let's say this is the chandelier exit and price comes back here. And instead of breaking the chandelier uh, you know, exit, it forms a very nice you know, uh, pin bar or some form of a bullish price section. What you can do is you can actually buy off over here and put your stop loss below. Now, what are you trying to do? You're trying to say that, okay, we are in an uptrend, we're in an uptrend, and uh, if I had entered here, if you entered at this position over here, you would still be holding the trade because when you see this, uh, you, you kind of, you know, it's kind of like a confirmation that uh, the trend is still going up, the chandelier stop level is not broken. And because it's not broken, you want to bet that price is going to carry on going up, okay? It's a bet, very important. There's no such thing as certainty, it's just a bet. It's a bet that uh, the, the context is uptrend, you want to buy and the chandelier uh, level is not broken yet. 
So you just want to place in a bet over here and buy, put your stop loss below, okay? Because if price were to break down and this chandelier exit is broken, then your trade idea is no longer valid. So if you are, it's no longer valid, you want to get out, okay? You want to cut your losses. So this is the second way. And of course, the third way, trading reverses, which is a bit more advanced. Okay, let me just clear it up and I'll show it to you. Okay, let's say uh, this price has been going up and you have your chandelier exit, some trailing something like that. And uh, you, you, you want to trade a uh, reversal. It's just the opposite, honestly, because it's just waiting for a break of this. We see a very nice break of this level. Instead of uh, taking profit when you have a position ready, what you can do is you can look for a uh, you know, maybe a retracement up to sell it, or you can trade the breakout of uh, this uh, chandelier stock, okay? But the breakout, uh, it's going to be harder to trade. It's going to take more experience. Uh, what I recommend doing is just wait for it to be broken and look for the retracement. So this is how you do it. Uh, basically, when people are taking profits or when the trend is changing, uh, as I mentioned, this is a trend, uh, trend indicator. It tells you when the trend is changing. You are trying to enter when the trend is about to change. Okay, your, your win rate will not be very high because you're trading reverses. But if you nail it right, I think uh, it has the potential to really move because you are catching the first wave of reversal. Meaning you are literally shorting at the top okay, or you're buying at the bottom. But again, this takes a bit more experience. So please do not do this if uh, you know you're not yet profitable. Okay, so what I want to do next is I want to go into the charts to just show you uh, how to how to install indicator. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to head over to trading view. So right now I'm at trading view. You want to go over here. Okay, and you want to type uh, chandelier. Okay, chandelier stop. Okay, you want to put this one over here. Okay, for me I've already installed it here. Okay, so you'll see something like that. Okay, you recognize this just now? Remember, I actually uh, had this uh, settings shown to you in the PowerPoint slides. So you want to do the same thing. You want to put a 22 period, a 40 ATR and a 3 ATR multiplier. Okay, just click OK. And you will see this lovely indicator. Okay, so just a quick run through. Earlier, I mentioned if you know, price is trending now, then your ch uh, chandelier exit will be at the top and it will be in uh, purple. And if it's at, you know, it's uptrend, then it's going to be the uh, blue, okay? Again, I'm going to stress that please do not just buy or sell based on this indicator. That's not what I'm telling you over here. I'm not asking you to just buy over here, sell over here, you know, blindly trade or sell, buy, you know, I'm not saying that. I'm just showing you that this indicator can be combined with the way you analyze the charts, okay? If you need a full day trading guide, you need a full step-by-step -step strategy, uh, that's provided in our free day trading guide. So just check that out and download. It's totally free. Okay, so this is the indicator. This is how it looks like. So um, number one, right? Remember I mentioned that there are three ways for you to uh, use it. Number one is let's say uh, you entered, uh, let's just assume that you entered somewhere here. And uh, you entered somewhere here. So in this case, you'll still be holding your trade because if you trail your stop loss, okay, and uh, you, you shift your stop loss, you will still be in this trade because price has not broken uh, this uh, this chandelier level yet. So what happens is that you want to exit the trade when you see price close below this chandelier level. Okay, that's your exit strategy. That's the first step. The second step would be something like, um, let me see if I can find an example for you. So let's say you are in a, uh, something like this. Maybe you are in a downtrend. Okay, you are in a downtrend here. And uh, you can see that in this case, uh, this chandelier level, ch chandelier exit, acted as resistance. You can see it's very clear. Let me just clear this for you. You can see that this purple line acted as resistance. You can see this is the way you use it, dynamic uh, resistance. And then you look for entry uh, based on your lower time frame analysis, or you can even just use a candlestick pattern such as maybe uh, this one over here, this one, or this one. Okay, again, all these are covered in the day trading guide. But uh, I just want to show you that you can use it as uh, to enter a position because let's say uh, you miss this breakout trade and uh, you want to trade with the trend, then you can just use this chandelier exit over here uh, to enter your trade. Okay, the last one is a uh, reversal. So you can see over here that uh, let's say uh, you shorted here and you exited here. Rather than just exiting and not doing anything, uh, you can also look for entry because uh, you can see that on this candle here, uh, price broke the ch chandelier exit. Uh, chandelier shop. So uh, what happens is that uh, price broke above, so you can look for a long. 
Okay, so that's the three ways to use the chandelier exit. So hopefully that is clear. If you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. Uh, our team will read the comments and address uh, any issues you have. Okay, so just a recap. Okay, so in today's video, I share with you what the chandelier exit is. Basically, it's a volatility indicator that uses the ATR and the high or low of the uh, candles. Okay, in this case, we are using the 22 period, the 22 days high or low. Okay, you want to use it on the daily chart. Okay, I, I run you through how the chandelier exit is calculated. Okay, the formula was provided. Then I show you how to use it. So basically, there are three ways for you to use it. You can use it to uh, exit your position. You can use it to take a trade or you can use it to trade reverses. Okay, a gentle reminder, do not use it to trade reverses. If you are still new, you are not yet proficient as a trader, please do not do that because that's more advanced. And lastly, I walk you through how to use uh, trading view, how to install it. It's a free indicator. And I also run you through the three scenarios of how to use it okay so thanks for watching right make sure you give us a thumbs up really appreciate it right hit the su subscribe button as well because we create videos like this almost every single day to serve you okay if you have any questions just leave a comment down below we'd love to help you we'd love to connect with you if not thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video